Hi, in this example, we are going to integrate x times the cosine of x squared. Let's go ahead and work through this solution. So when doing problems like this, it's a good idea to try to find a substitution. In this case, our substitution is going to be the inside piece, which is x squared. So we'll start by trying that. So we'll let u be equal to x squared. And then we'll compute du. So basically we're taking the derivative of both sides. On the left, we simply get du. On the right, we use the power rule for derivatives. So you bring down the two, you get two x, and then you subtract one from the exponent. So two x to the first power, dx. This is called differential notation. Okay, the goal is to make this look like what's up here. So up here, we have an x and a dx, but down here, we have a 2x dx. So we have to get rid of the two, and we can do that by dividing by it, like that. So these cancel. So we're left with 1 half du, right? We can write du over 2 as 1 half du, and that's equal to x dx. Very nice. At this point, we're ready to make our substitution. So I'm gonna switch colors here. So we have the integral of, let's focus on the cosine first. So cosine of x squared is really cosine of u. Okay, it's cosine of u. So we're left with the x and the dx. So what happens with that? Well, we work that out here. That's just one half du. So here I'll put the du here, and then the one half really goes here, but because it's a constant, you can pull it out and write it over here. All right, now we're ready to integrate. So we're looking for a function whose derivative is cosine, right? Because we're anti-differentiating. So basically sine, <laughs> because the derivative of sine is cosine. So this is one half sine of u, and then plus our constant of integration, capital C. And you should always check your answer, right? The derivative of sine is cosine, so all is good. We're not done. We still have to go back to the original variable of integration, which was x. So this is 1 half sine, and then recall that the original variable here is x, so u is x squared, so just put an x squared here. And then we have our plus c, which is our constant of integration.